Good morning darlings and welcome to a new weekly vlog slash outfit diaries slash what I wore in a week. Um, I'm going to be taking you along with me all this week, well I say all this week, starting on Tuesday because yesterday was rainy and miserable and I was certainly not in the mood for vlogging. I get very affected by miserable weather. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing and what I am wearing this week. Hopefully I might be able to give you some inspo if you are struggling with what to wear at this very transitional time of year. Today is meant to be one of our last warm days, um, so I'm making the most of it by not going too layered up today. But then as the week goes on, I think the temperatures might start to drop. So we should see a nice variety of outfits. Uh, okay, so today I'm wearing, this is the full look. But most of the attention is on the skirt. It's got this kind of giant paisley print. Very flowing when you move. It's just got loads and loads of movement, which I absolutely love. Very elegant length, really, really interesting autumnal pattern. I do actually have a belt in my larger handbag that I'm going to be getting resized today. I finally caved and got a Gucci belt. Um, and when that's been resized, I'll probably wear that with this outfit as well. The top is an old one from Reese. I got this a couple of years ago. And it's just quite a nice transitional top because as you can see there's no sleeves but it is this woolen material so it's nice and cosy and then I've popped on this necklace which is quite hard to show you but it's got little crosses on it. A bit unusual for me, a little bit edgy. Um, this is from Astrid and Mew. For this handbag, no I have not gone and purchased another Chloe test bag. This is from my favourite dupe website, Artisan Anything. I absolutely love this colour and I thought it would go with a lot of my autumn outfits. And as you guys know, I absolutely love the style of the Chloe test bag. I wear it so, so much. And this, I think, is the perfect finish to the outfit. It's pretty similar to the test in every way possible. The only real difference is a slightly less chunky hoop. That's pretty much the only difference that I can see. So very, very happy with this. And again, it's got the cross shoulder straps. I can wear it cross body, which I probably will do today. As you guys know, I like to carry a lot of stuff around with me. So I will also be taking my Mulberry Bayswater with me because I need my laptop, my laptop charger, my belt that I'm getting resized. All of my stuff goes in that one. I will definitely still need some outerwear today. So I might go for my Topshop coat. It's not lined, so it's not too um, thick and heavy. So it should be perfect for a day like today. The finished look with my coat on, my bag worn across body. And then I will also be wearing my Fendi sunglasses, which I featured in in my favourites and in my what's in my wardrobe these I just absolutely love them give you another little close-up and see the detail the F logo there um, and I just find them so flattering and I'm really loving Fendi at the moment so there's a finishing touch to my outfit of the day and now it's time to head out for my first meeting I've arrived early um, for my second meeting, which never happens. Normally I'm super late, but I'm glad I did. Um, I'm at the restaurant on the roof at Selfridges, and I always love recommending here for lunch meetings because it's always different. They have like different pop-ups all the time. Um, they'll probably change it again soon to something really festive, but at the moment it is an Italian called Alto, and it just looks stunning. Look at this. Good 
morning, so it is Wednesday. I'm already out and about in town. Didn't get a chance to show you my outfit um, in the mirror this morning because it was dark when I left. But I am, um, I've already had quite a busy day. Had a couple of meetings, an event with Bare Minerals this morning for their original skin, which they are promoting in Debenhams with personalized lids. If they're doing it until the 28th of October. And then I went to Townhouse to experience their manicuring collaboration with Nude Sticks. So I have a very snazzy nail art again. I'll show you a better picture later on. And now I am heading to my dentist, Dr. Shreep, because today is the day I'm getting my Invisalign put in, which I'm so excited about, starting my brace journey. And I also get to meet the winner of the competition. If you guys remember, I did a competition where one of you could win an amazing 50,000 pound smile makeover with my very, very generous dentist. So I get to meet Christina, who's come over from America, and she started her treatment today. As for me, I'm getting some between teeth drilling, filing down so that my teeth will slot back perfectly and also I think I have to have some little nodules put onto my teeth that the brace will attach itself to. So I'm a little bit nervous um, but very excited to start the journey. So we're almost there. I'll catch up with you at the dentist. Oh, outfit of the day. A uh, very typical, very me outfit. I'm wearing my Topshop coat which is I think the same one that I wore yesterday, can't remember. Uh, my Topshop snake print blouse and then my Reese and Reese mules and then again just my base water which fits all of my stuff in. Okay so I'm here with my favourite dentist. <laughs> Lily knocked you out then. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we are, I have to like tilt it up a little bit. So we're going to be down. putting my braces in today. Sammy was just explaining I'm going to be getting little nodules you will. onto the teeth. Um, and then I'm going to have my braces in and then in a couple of weeks on Halloween coming back for the What's the a little bit of adjustment of the teeth because we're not going to be extracting any teeth so we want to make room for them all to move beautifully. And that's a much better result than I think getting my teeth extracted. Definitely. Exactly. Um, and I've been getting a lot of questions about like the whole process and we're going to be doing also some whitening at the end so I can have a brilliant straight smile and that's something that Sammy wants to be able to offer you guys as well so I've got a special offer I will leave all the information for that down below basically a nice discount for fashion mumble viewers so should, I, should they just like mention my name if they want to mention your name mention and my then name any followers of yours that do that will be entitled to the discount and it lasts for the next two weeks till Halloween amazing until Halloween alrighty so it's time to get applying let's get going let's do bye, it bye everyone bye these are my goodies that I'm going to be taking home today, my Invisalign kits. How come we've got two? Is it just all the different sets? A lot of teeth to move. A lot of braces. Yeah. I will uh, dig and delve in these later, but I'm guessing it's going to just be a load of different aligner sets, right? That's right. Amazing. Orthodontic appliance. Here we go. Good morning, darlings. It is now Thursday morning, and uh, yesterday's vlogging was a bit rushed, so... I thought I would do a proper little catch up with you. So yesterday the last clip that you saw was me at the dentist and I now have my brace. This is my Invisalign. This is the um, mold, I guess you would call it, a liner that I'll be wearing for the next two weeks. And as you may be able to see on my teeth, I have got little, they're called, um, I cannot remember what they're called, but I call them these like little nodules. And they're basically, almost like teeth, tooth coloured enamel and they act as little hooks so that my teeth are going to be moved in the exact right position with my aligners. So it's actually more comfortable to have my brace in than it is to just talk with my brace out um, but I wanted to show you how tiny these are. They're really like flexible as well, it kind of blows my mind that something so flimsy has the power to actually move your teeth but obviously it does because that's what Invisalign does. Um, yeah, so they're really small. They just hook onto my teeth. They do affect my speech slightly, so I might take them out when I film proper videos, but I have to wear these for 22 hours a day at least, obviously while I'm sleeping. So if you notice I'm a little bit lispy in any of my vlogs um, moving forward, then that's probably why. I'm going to be wearing these for the next eight months, and then after my eight months is up, I will hopefully get these attachments taken off and then I'll probably just wear something like this in the evenings as a retainer. So I also met Christina at Dr. Shreve's clinic yesterday and Christina has flown in all the way from New Jersey in America. I think it was her first time leaving uh, the United States. She's come to London for a couple of weeks for her treatment. She was the winner of the 
£50,000 smile giveaway that uh, Dr. Shree very kindly offered to you guys. Commiserations if you entered and didn't win, but maybe there'll be more opportunities. Stay tuned. But Christina honestly is such a deserving winner. She has suffered with a cleft lip and cleft palate all her life and she's gone to so many of the best dentists and surgeries in the US. She's gone to all the Ivy League places and um, still not been able to get the smile that she really wanted. So to be able to offer her that opportunity it's just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be catching up with her while she's in London, spending some time together and she's already had the longest day of treatment yesterday. I think she said she was in the chair for about eight hours getting like gum surgery and artificial teeth made, things like that. So it didn't sound like a very pleasant day. So, oh my goodness, very, very brave lady. Makes my treatment seem like an absolute doddle. But I'm just so happy that she's she's happy. She's already seeing a huge, huge difference. And um, yeah, so that's that was yesterday afternoon. Yesterday evening came home, had an early night because I was feeling quite exhausted and my teeth were a little bit sensitive. The day before, obviously I went for my facial with Lisa Franklin and I didn't follow up with it yesterday because it was a busy day. Amazing facial. I learned so much from Lisa. She does all of her, her, all of her products are based on rose quartz and she really looks at what ingredients are really good for the skin as opposed to what's trendy. Her range is really focused on deep cleaning the skin and especially in this polluted atmosphere that we live in now. That's really, really important. So she started by giving a really thorough look at my skin. She could see where it was congested. She told me I need to stop touching my face. So I definitely need to get into a better habit of not touching my skin so much. Um, super relaxing facial. She's given me some amazing products to try at home. She's told me a skincare routine that I need to stick to. So hopefully gonna be seeing some amazing results. I can already see my skin looks so much clearer. There was so much congestion on my chin, on my T-zone, and she really started to sort that out for me. So amazing, amazing treatment, highly recommend. Now I'm gonna go downstairs, put my brace back in. I'll show you how I talk with my brace in. There we go, all clipped in. So it's not too obvious, but I think you can tell I'm kind of um, a little bit more prominent on my lips. And I do have a little bit of a lisp, which ironically is the hardest word to say when you've got a lisp. Um, oh my God, that is really hard. So yeah, still getting used to this. I am gonna film my advent calendar videos on IGTV with my brace in because I do have to wear this 22 hours a day. Those remaining two hours I will probably spend eating or having coffee. So let me go downstairs and show you my advent calendars. And by the way, this is what I am wearing this morning. Um, I'm just working from home until after lunch. So I'm just wearing my Reese trousers, which is super comfortable, my Ugg slippers, and my Marks and Spencer cashmere. So nice and cozy and um, comfy. Alrighty, so I've bought all my advent calendars down from the bedroom where I was storing them. What an amazing selection. Brands have been very, very generous sending these over this year for me to feature. And I didn't want to do an entire YouTube video on advent calendars because there are already so many people out there doing it so well and so thoroughly that there's no point in repeating what's already out there. But I thought I would do an unboxing and sharing my opinions of what's inside each one individually on IGTV. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, Josie LDN, um, I'll leave a link to the playlist, if you will, of advent calendars down below. But just to give you an idea, I'm going to be unboxing Molten Brown, Glossy Box, uh, Molten Brown, Glossy Box, Clinique, L'Occitane, Birch Box, Body Shop, Dicky, <laughs> Bobby Brown, Decleor, and Elemis. And if I do happen to very generously be sent any more, then I will unbox those. How are you, my big boy? How are you, my big boy? Have you ever seen a dog this beautiful? Because I haven't. You are so beautiful, you are. Oh, and mummy, I love sitting in the sunshine. Seriously, though, he's absolutely stunning. You do smell a little bit today, my boy. Oh, here comes the big one. Here comes the eldest. Say hello to everybody, Dexy. Everybody loves you. By the way, guys, I really want Dexter to be a daddy because he's so handsome, so loving, and literally the most perfect sausage dog. One of you has farted. Who was it? Oh, that stinks, boys. Oh, my God, I live in a house full of trumping boys. Um, oh, my God, that is so bad. <laughs> Even when I'm talking through my mouth, it stinks. You too. I think it was you, you big trumper lumper. Um, as I was saying, apart from his 
flatulence. Dexter is the perfect boy in the whole world and I really want him to be a daddy so that we can carry on his amazing genes. So if anyone has any beautiful lady sausages that would like to be a baby mama with Dexie, let me know. Or if you know where I should go to like sell his body for mating. Look at my two. God, I love you two. My God, you're so beautiful. I could honestly get distracted and just kiss these boys all day long. Because you're so handsome. You are so handsome. Let me take you for a walk in a minute. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go outside. Come on. It's a beautiful day. Come on then, my boys. Come on then. Can you stay outside while mommy does some filming? hours later now and I've finished doing all my filming um, a few of those videos should hopefully already be on my IGTV so I'll leave that link down below if you'd like to see any of my advent calendar unboxing I am now dressed ready to go out for the afternoon I'm going to the Kate Spade press day and I'm gonna meet Freddie for lunch beforehand and then I've got a Topshop personal shopping appointment and then I'm getting my hair done so quite a busy afternoon but I wanted to be chic and comfortable so I've gone for starting from the bottom my LK Bennett boots I just love these, perfect height and really, really comfy. Day two, wearing the Reese skirt. I try to wear things like this at least three or four times before putting them in the wash. And um, if it gets any marks on it, I'll probably just hand double it out. But at the moment, it's still looking good. So I thought I'd wear that for a second day. And then I'm wearing my Club Monaco jumper, just tucked inside. It is really beautiful out there today, blue skies, but not super warm, but I thought it's the perfect kind of weather to wear a loose kind of cape sleeve jumper. Then because I'm going to Kate Spade press day, I thought I would grab my Kate Spade handbag. Um, and then I've layered my Astro Mew, and then this is a Lynx of London bracelet, Pandora and Monica Vinader, um, sorry, necklaces. Pandora and Monica Vinader bracelets. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think my brace just makes it a little bit more challenging to talk so this is my outfit of the day to head out to town so let's get going okay so I just finished at the Kate Spade press day hopefully I took a few video clips which I can show you um, and had a nice little catch up with Freddie now I'm at the Topshop personal shopping appointment I get to do these once every couple of months as part of my Topshop ambassadorship which is amazing because the girls down here are so so good at putting together outfits. I said I just wanted some really nice like autumnal trend pieces and Liz has put together the most amazing rail for me behind the outfits that she's put together. I would never have chosen myself but they look so cute. So I'm gonna start trying and you guys can help me decide what to keep. Okay, so this is the first look. As you can see, I've gone for a satin skirt. Both myself and Liz actually picked this out, so I have two sizes to try, but this is the smaller size and I think it's absolutely fine. Um, and then Liz actually chose this jumper to pair with it. It's just a really cozy, affordable high neck jumper. It's the kind of jumper that I'll probably wear a lot in the autumn. My battery on my camera just died, but I actually think it's slightly better lighting on my phone, so I'm gonna carry on vlogging on my phone. Um, yes, yeah, so I have the jumper, which I'm really glad that Liz picked, because I wouldn't have naturally picked this one. Um, but I really, really like it. Very classic autumnal jumper. And then the shoes, we have these kind of cord sandals, which are really cute. I have got major lines on my legs from where my uh, socks were earlier. Need to fake tan, but yeah, these are really, really cute. And Liz also chose this bag, which I think is really cute. It's like a box bag in a brownie snake print. I feel like this is a really nice way to elevate an outfit in a very affordable way. So this is definitely coming home with me. Now I'm just trying a different jumper with the satin skirt. This is similar to a jumper that I had last year, um, but I really, really like it. Love a big curl neck and a cream chunky jumper is always very classic. So I think I'm gonna be getting this one as well. And a third jumper with this skirt. This one is really, really soft. This to me is like a Christmas day kind of jumper. I really love the 
very rich material you can see it's really just almost like a very expensive rug but i'm a big fan of this looks nice with a couple of necklaces layered and the brown tones work so nicely together another great pick from this leaving this place the sun's about to break you're riding shotgun darlings um apologies my battery ran out yesterday so i stopped vlogging in the hairdresser but it is friday finally i'm so excited for the weekend um and as you can see i have quite a lot less hair than i did this time yesterday i actually decided um while i was sat in the chair with raymond that i was going to get quite a bit cut off i think my ends were just getting quite dead and i just wanted a refresh so i had about four inches taken off um and Paul did his magic to my colour. We put in, again, a really lovely creamy blonde, but less highlights, but more spread out, because I do want it to gradually get a little bit more natural looking. So I am very happy with my hair refresh. Let me know what you think to this length. I might even go a little bit shorter next time, but this was a good middle ground to start with. Um, I found my lips got quite painful yesterday. I think I was, um, I think my mouth was feeling a little bit bruised from having all of the nodules just like constantly rubbing against the skin of my mouth. And with lunch with Freddie and then going to hairdressers, I was talking quite a lot yesterday. So I think just all that talking and rubbing made my mouth feel a little bit bruised. So if I'm quite like pouty today, that's probably why. Um, okay, so I thought I would show you the bits and bobs that I bought in Topshop as I put them away. And yeah, it can be like a little Topshop personal shopping haul. So when you go to personal shopping, you get everything beautifully wrapped, which is lovely. First thing that I got, and I actually grabbed this on the uh, top floor as soon as I walked in, is this amazing scarf. I obviously love the colour, and I think this will be really, really cosy. It was quite affordable as well, I think this was £22. £20 for the scarf, really nice colour. Every year I get slightly tempted by the acne scarf, but it's just too much money. And this is really, really soft. This will be so nice for travelling. It'll definitely bundle up to be a nice pillow as well. So very, very happy with that. Next thing that I got, and this was recommended by my personal shopper, Liz, and it is this absolutely gorgeous little bag. It's probably not the most practical, but it actually opens up on two different sides. It'll definitely let's see fit my iphone yeah that fits in there quite easily and you've got the little magnets either side so i thought that was really really cute and looks very stylish a really affordable way of adding that snake print into your outfit i think it's just absolutely adorable and then in this little box we have a selection of top shop jewelry um i picked up firstly this ring i thought that was really unusual this was seven pound fifty and it makes a really nice statement so if you just want to have something quite contemporary then i thought that was really beautiful i will leave all of these linked down below and then there's a brand called weathered penny and again liz chose all of these i thought that was really really cute this little man logo is quite on trend still and because I'm really enjoying switching up to more statement earrings, I grabbed these as well. I thought they'd look really nice with a chunky knit. These were a little bit more expensive at £22, but I really liked that they weren't heavy, despite being pretty big. Oh, this is really cute. I've just seen that uh, Liz, my shopper, has left a cute little note in there, which is so sweet. So lovely to meet you today. I hope you love your new items and get some cute pictures. Please shop with us again soon. Love, Lise. And she's put little hearts on it. That is so cute. Personal shopping at Topshop doesn't cost any extra, but you just get the most amazing service. Really nice fitting rooms, so highly recommend. Ooh, this is actually the contact email of the girl that helped me. So take a little screenshot of this if you want to reach out to Lise. Honestly, she was absolutely incredible. Such good style. Right, so the next thing that she chose for me, which I had also spotted on the shop floor, I've got this like, you know when you go to a hairdresser and they blow dry and it's not quite how you normally do it and your passing's like, ah, there's no one to do. So this is another animal print blouse. I would almost say this is like tiger print. This was £35 and if I wear this even a fraction as much as I wore my snake print blouse, um, then it'll be a very good price per wear piece. So I thought it was nice to get a slightly deeper, more autumnal animal print blouse. I think you might have seen this in the try-on clips. 
But I might shoot something with this today actually because it's such a beautiful day outside. This next piece is bound to be one of those pieces that sells out instantly. In fact, they had a more orangey version of this on the website and it kept selling out. So hopefully they bring this more browny version of this satin. Looks almost like a slip. It kind of looks like underwear, but it is in fact normal clothing. Um, it is a satin skirt with an elasticated waistband, super comfortable, £29, so a very affordable way to get that satin skirt look. I'm going to be filming, in fact I might already have gone live, a video on how to style the satin skirt because they are such a big trend, um, so keep a look out for that if I have already posted it because I might film it today and publish it on Sunday and you'll be seeing this on Tuesday, so I'll leave it linked down below if it's gone live already. But yeah, these are such a huge hit this autumn and very affordable, which is great. So looking forward to styling this up. This next one, I'm so, so glad that Lise chose this for me because it is a really, really nice dupe of the Chloe blouse. If you remember my autumn winter trends video, I was saying how that kind of cowboy western trend is so huge and I really wanted to copy the Chloe look, but without the price tag. And this blouse with the ruffle kind of victoriana style collar i think is the perfect way to do so 35 pounds looks like a really beautiful quality blouse and the kind of thing that i will wear with so many different outfits maybe with high-waisted jeans if i want it to be a bit more casual with my wool skirt with the satin skirt so yeah big fan of this Again, this is not something I would normally have picked up, but um, Liz put it in the personal shopping room for me. I tried it on and I had my chunky, well, not chunky, my gold Astrid and Mew necklace on yesterday and I just loved how they look together. Um, really, really soft, cosy, and this was £35. Even if I just wear this, I don't know, on days when I'm just doing something really casual, picnics outside, I don't know, it's going to be really, really warm, good for flying, good for travelling super snuggly and quite festive and autumnal as well so thank you very much to Lise for choosing this for me. This is just a really simple autumn basic the kind of thing that I'll get loads and loads of wear out of it's just very simple high neck £39 in an oat colour which I think just goes with so many things it's so flattering it's so versatile and again will look nice when I pair it with a selection of different pendants so no doubt this is going to be one of my most worn pieces this autumn. And then the other cosy knit in that little bundle was this one. I got the version of this last year and I absolutely loved it. Um, I wore it quite a lot with my Kate Spade leopard print trousers. If I can find a picture, I'll leave on the screen here. But this is the updated version. It still has um, really nice chunky sleeves, a big roll neck, but this time it's more of like a cowl neck. So equally as cosy and comfy, perfect putting a thermal on underneath, and just a really simple cream knit, which is something you can't really go wrong with this time of year. And then finally, we have two pairs of shoes. Firstly, I picked up, and you saw me trying these on, this kind of almost like a corduroy pair of little sandals. This time of year, it is still warm enough to go open-toed, but you want something a bit more autumnal, so I thought they would be absolutely perfect. And then I find pointed toe boots go with so many things, and when I saw these in my personal shopping room, I thought they'd be absolutely perfect. I love patent. It's, again, one of the big trends for autumn winter and I think these will just go with so many different things. I wish the heel um, was maybe a little bit more of a natural wood colour but it doesn't bother me that much. I just think that they are so beautiful. £65 I always think Topshop shoes are really good value for money. Really comfortable, well made and very very stylish so keep a look out for lots of videos where I'll be styling these up because I think these will be my go-to autumn ankle boot. So that's everything that I got from Topshop Personal Shopping. Um, now I'm going to get ready to plan some outfits to shoot today. But first of all, I do want to try out um, the new, I got this very generously in my PO box the other day. This is a new GHD Platinum Plus Professional Styler. So they've updated the Platinum Styler, which you guys know I absolutely love. And this one is a lot more intelligent, so it actually can tell what your hair needs. Haven't read too much into it yet, but it does sound absolutely incredible. This is the Glacial Blue Collection, which is their Christmas uh, edition. It says that this has ultra zone predictive technology, responds to your hair to control heat more effectively than ever, 70% less breakage, two times more colour protection, and then it's got all the usual um, benefits of GHD stylus as well. So I'm going to give this a go, put some loose curls through my hair, and then it's time to shoot.
it is Saturday, it's a beautiful day today, so Charlie and I are about to take the boys for a dog walk. I couldn't be bothered to shower this morning, so I'm just gonna show you my very quick hair update, my lazy day beauty routine. So if you've been watching my vlogs for a long time, you'll know that I'm a big fan of dry shampoo. And a couple of days ago, I got this new one, which is the Invisible Formula dry shampoo and hydrate. So they've got like a new range which basically has additional benefits in it as well as being an amazing dry shampoo. So this is one that's really good for me. It's got avocado oil in there so it's actually really hydrating. If you've got coloured hair then you'll know that it can dry out really easily. So when I can't be bothered to wash my hair like on a beautiful Saturday morning when I just want to get out of the house, I just like to give my hair a mist with this. So I thought I would update you. I've also been using these hair bubbles, which are made by Slip, who do the eye masks and the silk pillows, and they're basically really gentle, and they don't rub or break your hair, and I find them even better at times than Invisibobble because they're even more gentle on the hair. And I also quite like the 80s look that they give. And as for my chilled, dog walking outfit of the day. I've just got a chunky cozy knit on, this is one from Topshop, and then my sweaty betty leggings and grey Nike trainers. I'll probably also put my cross body bag on, just with my purse and my phone. And finishing with a spritz of Eclat de Verre from Erin. another quick outfit of the day update. I'm about to go and meet my mum and we're going to a place called Wisley Gardens. Uh, she's got a national garden trust membership or something along those lines. So we're going to go and make the most of this glorious day. So I've just popped on, don't know why that's suddenly gone so dark, but I've just popped on a nice pair of statement earrings to hopefully detract from the fact that my hair is not the cleanest. And then I've got, well, it's fine now that I've got the Batiste in. Um, yeah, so big statement earrings. I've got a nice cozy knit. Here's the light again. And then my gilet. Actually, I'm pretty much all top shop. And I've got my satin skirt and some little ankle boots. And I'm probably going to take a big bag as well. But this little bag from Topshop I think is absolutely adorable. So I'm wearing this one as well. Probably just going to take this because it's got all of my stuff in it as my chuck it all in handbag. It is Sunday morning. I look a little bit like the Joker this morning. I'm having a bit of a Sunday morning pamper session. Uh, last I saw you was at Wisley Gardens. A really, really nice afternoon with mum. Beautiful autumn day. Just gorgeous. Golden sunlight and really, really beautiful gardens. So if you live around there, um, it's kind of Chobham, Surrey, Berkshire area. I would definitely recommend a little trip. It's very autumnal at the moment. There was a taste of autumn food market, loads of like pumpkins everywhere. So it's really, really sweet and loads of fun things to do with children. So when I have babies, I'll be taking them to places like that. And mum has an RHS membership. So we both got to go in for free, but otherwise I think it's about 15 pounds each adult. So that was lovely. And then Charlie and I had a movie night. We were gonna go to see a star is born but there were only two seats left in the Clapham picture house and they were right at the very front of the screen so we thought we would give that a miss and instead we watched Oceans 8 here which I really enjoyed 
but Charlie thought it was a little bit predictable, but never mind. So this morning I've just got my cup of Lola's Apothecary wellness tea with honey and rose drops and I have applied my Bare Minerals Claymates Mask Duo. So this is the new type of face mask from Bare Minerals and it's multi-masking so you can choose your problems if you will. So I've gone for one which is clarifying on my T-zone, that's the white bits, literally like a yin yang inside. So the white is clarifying if you want to um, purify your skin. And then the pink is more pampering for dewy areas. So I've just popped it on my cheeks and at the top of my forehead where I want to be a little bit more dewy. I'll leave that on for 15 minutes and what I've been doing every single morning is using the Calm app to, it's technically, technically it is meditation but it's very easy meditation so if you just want to have a really nice chilled start to the day, get your thoughts in order, then I definitely recommend giving it a try. I mentioned it first in my summer morning routine video and I think it's just really good if you're kind of a beginner to meditation and mindfulness so it's called Calm. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, I just really enjoy it. And in the app you get your daily calm, I'm just going to pause it, um, and it's slightly different every single day. Today's one is going to be about courage so this will last 10 minutes and I'll just kind of like a guided meditation so it's a really soothing voice just helping you through, giving you some words of wisdom, some really positive motivational chats throughout and at the end it tells you how many days in a row you've done, like what your streak is. This will be my seven days in a row because I accidentally missed a day last weekend which meant I ruined my last streak which I think was about 20 days and then after that there's also loads of different things in this app including like stretches so I'll do in the calm body section I'll do my morning wake up stretch and I just feel so much better after it so that's what I'm going to do now and I will catch up with you after my shower. Let's start our session by taking a comfortable position. Okay, I'm feeling very pampered and quite fluffy now that I'm out the shower, exfoliated, fake tanned, and I'm just loosely blow dried my hair. It felt a little bit weird styling it with it being a few inches shorter, but I am really, really liking it. My outfit for our brunch walk and dog walk is this lovely wool and cashmere jumper from Reese. It's still really sunny outside, but a little bit chilly. I've got my Prada bag, which is my usual kind of dashing out the house bag. These are my trousers slash leggings from last year from Damsel. They're just super comfy and I think they look quite smart as well. And my blush pink Nike trainers. I'm going to pop on my sunglasses and it's time to go and get some breakfast. 